Hey Libra, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, April 19th. Let's see what's going on with Libra. At the heart of your reading, we have the Queen of Wands reversed. There's someone that you've been trying to attract and you're frustrated because they don't seem interested. But you're blaming yourself for this. Like, yeah. I'm picking up on someone's energy who is like trying to think what the other person wants them to wear or like okay I was around them wearing this top and they didn't seem interested so maybe I should wear something different and that will gain their attraction or their interest or I was talking about um, music and they didn't seem interested in the music I was talking to. Maybe that's not the music they liked, so let me try and ask around to see what music they're into. That way I can talk about that the next time I'm around them. It's really, um, it's like you're, you're almost afraid to fully be yourself. You're trying to behave in a way that you think the other person wants you to behave. When the best way that you could attract a right, the right person into your life is to more fully and more vibrantly be you. Show me the challenge here for Libra. Four of Pentacles reversed. This is telling us that you crave validation from this person. Or in general, you might crave validation from people outside of yourself. Um, you may struggle with uh, self-worth when you're not getting any outside indication that you're good and desirable and worthy and beautiful and important. You might need to hear that from other people and you might not just inherently believe it about yourself. Your focus is on the star energy. This is a very dreamy Neptunian energy. Um, fantasy. You might spend time envisioning yourself living this dream life with your person of interest. I think some of you have fleshed that out quite a bit. Like we're going to live in this kind of a house and I can see it and I know what the front door is going to look like and we're going to have a a patio on the backyard where we can sit and look at the stars together or it, there's a, there's a whole story that you've built for yourself about your future with this person in the recent past we have the ten of pentacles reversed So this is giving me the energy of not being certain about the life that you want, leaving this open-ended to, well, what, is, what sort of life does my person of interest want? Do they want to live at the beach? Then that sounds exciting. I, I think I want to live at the beach. Or, oh, they... 
I was wrong about that. They don't want to live at the beach. They want to live in the country. Well, the country sounds really beautiful. I could get on board with living at the country. Do you see what I'm getting at? It's like this... lack of roots in what you want for your own life. Show me the energy of the environment. How is spirit using Libra's environment to support them and nudge them in the right direction? Queen of Pentacles reversed energy. Spirit wants you to be more independent and in getting what you need. To stop relying on other people as much. I think specifically in the areas that we've been talking about. To focus your nurturing energy toward yourself. Make your home the perfect home for you. Make your life the perfect life for you. And you'll see everything start to shift. Because you will, you will write this energy, and that's when people are attracted to you. That's when, I should say, the right people will be attracted to you. Show me the near future. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Give me more on the Seven of Swords, please. The Moon. Suspicions abound. You might find your your mind starts running away with itself here in the near future. If, if you don't have all the information that you want, you're gonna your your mind is gonna start filling in the blanks and making up a story. And I think it's going to be a fear-based story with the moon here. Seven of Swords talks about suspicion. In the absence of truth, in the absence of information, there's suspicion that starts flooding in. Of um, wrongdoing, of secrets being kept. There's this fear of the unknown. And with the Three of Cups reversed, I think we're talking about a fear of being cheated upon. Mm, I see. Show me surprise energy. King of Pentacles reversed. So this is a continuation of the Queen of Pentacles reversed. It's saying that um, you're going to be presented with an unexpected opportunity to start being more self-reliant, to have your needs met through a healthier source. It might come with the uncomfortable realization that someone that you want to be there for you is not there for you. Your hopes and fears, we have the chariot. You want to find alignment with your higher purpose. You want to find alignment with 
with someone in a love relationship, I feel that pretty strongly. I know we don't have a lot of indications of love going on. I'm just picking up on that very intuitively. You, you crave partnership. You crave togetherness. You want someone to walk along the path of life with, toward the same goal. And you're extremely flexible in terms of, like, I think you've been putting yourself on someone else's path or attempting to do that. But spirit knows the desire of your heart. You want alignment, and that's everything that's happening for you right now is to bring you toward what you want. You crave alignment and you're on your way toward it. Your end result, we have strength. This is spirit recognizing the potential that exists within you and helping you hone that potential. Get stronger in the areas that you feel weak. Yeah, this spiritual support here, high priestess at the bottom of the deck. You have a lot of support. You're going to feel much more independent able to stand on your own two feet and take on whatever is coming your way. Show me advice for Libra. How can Libra work with these energies for their highest and best good? Eight of Swords asks you to acknowledge, become aware of, this mental trap that you fall into. Where you don't see a way out, you don't see any other way of, of behaving or acting within a search within a situation. You feel stuck in some way, but you're you're not actually stuck. It's like a, a willful ignorance. Do you see her blindfold there? Spirit is asking you to take off the blindfold and recognize that you're not trapped. You can, it's like she's put herself in those bonds and she's not actually in a jail. She, she's able to walk away at any time. That's what spirit wants you to see and acknowledge and react to. So Libra, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.